Hi, this is Andy Bauer at Object Arts with the second part of a tutorial on how to create a lights out game for Dolphin Small Talk. Uh, the first thing to do, as with any project, is to create ourselves a new package. I open the package browser and right click on the packages pane and choose new package. And let's call this uh, lights out game. Okay. Um, as we've done before, I'm going to choose uh, set this as the default package, uh, which means that classes will go in there uh, unless explicitly um, saved somewhere else. Now, if you remember in the um, example I showed you, um, we have um, a number of lights out cells which represent the different lights, and we're going to design the model view presenter triad for these first. Um, as you saw, the model for the lights out cell is simply a Boolean value wrapped in a value holder. So we don't need to create a new class for that. We've already got the classes set up. Um, uh, but what we, what we do need to do is to create a presenter. Um, I'm going to call that light, lights out cell. And we need to create a view class too because we, there's nothing in the... Um, image that currently will display display things how we want it want them to be so I'm going to open the class browser and I'm going to go to the presenter hierarchy okay and we can descend our lights out cell directly from presenter so I'll choose new and choose lights out cell as the class name I'm not going to package it, so it goes automatically into our default package. Okay, and this is our, <clears throat> our presenter. Now, the first thing to do um, here is to go and define the default model. So we do that on the class side. And let's create a new method there. And... We'll call it default model, and we want it to be a true value converted or wrapped in a value holder. And I will compile that. And for the moment, that's all we need to do uh, with this. We've, we've got our, um, uh, our basic presenter. Let's go and now d design the view, which is going to be able to dis display that model appropriately. So I'll find the view hierarchy. And in here, we're going to create a class called Lights Out Cell View. Once again, we'll use the default package. Okay. And the first thing we might want to do with this is to work out how to display it on the screen. So uh, we'll create a new method and Let's, um, in order to do that, we're going to have to override the on paint required um, method. And this takes a paint event as its um, uh, parameter. And the first thing we want to do is to check to see whether the, um, the model is true or false. Uh, if it's false, we can just leave the background showing through. If it's true, we want to paint a, uh, a coloured square. Um, so I'm going to work out a rectangle, and I'm going to paint it onto a particular canvas. So let's uh, work out what the rectangle should be that we're going to fill in with the colour. So we take our client rectangle and we're going to just inset it by five pixels just to uh, give us a little bit of a border and we're going to get a canvas which is the dolphin drawing um, surface uh, from the paint event that we've been given okay and let's now go and use one of the canvas methods now sometimes um, it's difficult to remember exactly what uh, what methods are available for a, a particular object, so we can uh, open a new class browser and go and look for the canvas class. 
Um, if we look inside the drawing category, and we should see, yes, this, is, this will be a good one, fill rectangle with a particular color. So we'll use that method. So we go back over here and we'll say canvas fill rectangle uh, with a color. And the rectangle we want to fill is the cell rect. And I'm going to create a method to answer the color because that makes it more uh, easier to configure it later. So let's uh, call a method and we'll call it uh, color when on. Okay, and we compile that. Okay, I missed out a bracket. Let's try again. Okay, and we're being warned that the uh, um, the message isn't actually um, uh, available in the class yet. So let's go and create that now. And color when on, and we want to answer a a, a particular color value. Now, um, one way to uh, quickly get a color value is to use the built-in color dialog. So if I just in line here type color dialog uh, show modal and uh, then uh, to try and display the answer from that uh, we get the color dialog coming up let's choose a yellow uh, maybe dim it down a bit okay and you see we've actually got the color value printed inside our method so all we need to do is to delete that and accept that um, the next thing we need to do um, as we should do with all views uh, and presenters, is to define the default model on the class side. So let's do that now. I'll write a default model method, and this can be exactly the same as the uh, uh, the one we created for the presenter. Uh, so we're going to answer true as value here. Okay. Um, now the other thing is um, on the class side, we've created a method to paint the view when it becomes uh, exposed. Um, but we haven't uh, got any way of informing the view that needs to repaint itself uh, when the model is changed. Um, the best way to do this is when the model is connected to the view, uh, if we um, listen to uh, the value changed event, uh, we can then ask the view to invalidate itself and paint itself. So let's create um, a we're going to override the connect model method um, of view and this will um, allow us to get in just as the model has been uh, assigned to the view so we can say self model and we're going to uh, is when send to and the event we're looking for is value changed on the model because the model is a value holder and we're going to send invalidate uh, to ourself and this should cause uh, windows to send a paint message around to refresh our display okay um, now one other thing we want to do is to intercept um, mouse events uh, so that we can detect when the, um, uh, the view has been clicked. So the best way to do that is to override um, on left button released. And we'll do, it, we'll do it when the button's released rather than when it's pressed because most, uh, most buttons work like that. They trigger their command when they're released. So um, on left button released, what we're going to do is we're just going to trigger um, an action event um, off our presenter. And we call the action event cell action. Okay. So that's just about it for the view, I should say. Um, the next step is to create an instance of this view uh, in the view composer and then attach it to um, our presenter, our lights out cell uh, class. So um, the way to do that is to right click on the, uh, on the class, choose views new, uh, we can accept the default view name and you'll see it's come up and um, we're showing that uh, we have got a, 
uh, a true value, so the, the, the light is turned on, seems to be working okay. Um, we don't need to do anything to that to configure it, so we can just save that down. Now we don't particularly want to save it down onto the view class, but what we do want to do is to save it down to the presenter class. So I'm going to choose save as, and instead of choosing lights out cell view here, I'm going to go to the, the presenter hierarchy and choose lights out cell and save this view down as that default view. Okay. If we now go to that uh, presenter uh, class, uh, lights out cell, um, we can see that on the class side we now have a resource default view method and this is uh, used to recreate that view that we've just created. Uh, we can Let's test it out. So let's open a workspace and let's say um, lights out cell is lights out cell show and uh, evaluate that and you see we've got a rather large one of those wrapped inside um, a shell view now what we can do with that is we can um, test the model out so we can say lights out cell model value false and you see it turns off and similarly through and it turns it back on again. Um, so that is enough for now. We've got our cell working. In the next part of this video, we'll go on and design, design the um, uh, lights out game presenter and, uh, and its board model class.